Okay, so we are going to talk about layers in this tutorial. Now layers are really, really important within a flash animation just because you want to make sure that you are adjusting certain things one at a time. So we have these three objects here. Um, I want to set them up in two different layers so that when I move the star, the uh, square and the oval won't move all at the same time. Okay. So, uh, and I want to be able to do certain things to the star without these guys being affected. So the one thing I didn't tell you is that while you were in the intro is that if you do want to see what your work looks like so far, what you have to do is press control enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give you a little separate screen that's going to show you what your movie looks like at this point. Now mine doesn't look like anything because I haven't done anything with it, but that's just to let you know about that different option. So I've made these three different shapes. I'll show you how to make the shapes later. Uh, at this point, we want to separate them into layers because these are all in one layer. So um, I do want to be able to work with them individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all. I can do that two ways. Number one, I can press Control A and that will select everything. So to deselect, I'm going to click on the paste, uh, what did we call that again, the paste area out here. Um, we can also click and drag a big net around the whole thing and get those three, okay? Either way, we are going to control A, select all of them. When I've done that, I'm going to right click on one of the objects and I'm going to say distribute layers, okay? So what I've actually done now is it's created extra layers. Now, I'm not sure why those are five, six, seven. I don't know what happened to two, three, and four, uh, but we're just going to go with that anyway. Okay. So remember, we can actually now work with each one of these layers separately. So let's say I don't, um, actually what I should do first is I should name them. So layer one, we're going to right click. Um, actually, I think we can just click right on that name. Double click it, okay? And we're gonna call it the background, okay? Double click this, this is our star, so we're gonna call it star. Double click this. Uh, you can see that the uh, rectangle is highlighted, so we're gonna call it rectangle. And double click this. And our oval is highlighted, so we'll call this layer oval. All right, so uh, now if we want to keep that rectangle in place and not move it, we can press lock. And so when we actually try and do something, we can't do anything with it at all, okay? So we're gonna take lock off so can, we can work with them all. Right now we are on the oval, so we can't actually move anything. I'm gonna, oh, I guess as soon as you click on them, you can move them. That will change it to your layers, which is actually a very handy feature. However, whatever we do to oval here is not going to affect any of these other because they are separate layers, okay? So uh, the one thing that's really cool is if we put the uh, oval by the, um, by the rectangle and we put the star all together, we can see that the star is on the front the rectangle is in the middle and the oval is in the back. That's because of the way that they are arranged on here. Okay, so the star is at the top, so it's on the very top. This is the rectangle is next, so it's underneath the star and on top of the oval. Now, if I want the oval to be on top of the rectangle, I can click it and drag it and now it is in front of the rectangle now because it is still below the star when i take it and move it over here you're going to see that it is going to go below the star so you can move these around as well by clicking dragging right in there um let's see ah uh, yes so again if you want to see what the outlines look like if you just want to uh, line things up perfectly line to line then this is a good way of uh, doing this being able to outline to select that so then we'll show make that show up again um, if you do want to create a new layer um, to put another shape in here's your new layer button you're going to click that and it'll come with layer now you'll notice i was Control Z. So I was on oval, so it's going to create a new layer. 
directly above wherever you had selected. So now we have layer nine again. I can double click that, give it a new name. We'll just call it, uh, I don't know, call it new. Okay, and then that's the new level now. So we're not going to be um, focusing on anything but that particular layer, and we can move that layer around as well. So if I want to add in a another shape, um, let's say I put in a rectangular shape like this. Okay, so now that is, if you'll see, this is highlighted. So that means that's my new layer right there. Okay, so what happens if I grab my selection tool and take this, put it here, it's going to go behind. Why? Because it's at the very bottom of the pile. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, and that is it for your basic layer tutorial.